Hello. We've used PineGrow's AI Assistant to create a fun tool for making HTML presentations. In this video, we'll explore how to use it, customize it for your needs, and learn what can be done with these new tools. The tool allows you to create simple HTML presentations, like the one displayed now. If we open this in a browser, we get a full screen presentation effect. It's quite effective as a presentation tool. But the most interesting part is how we use the AI Assistant to power the whole experience. All right, let's start from the beginning. By the way, the project is also available on PineGrow Online, where you can run it directly in the browser. But here, we will be using our desktop app PineGrow Web Editor. After downloading and unpacking the zip, open the project. Arrange the panels in PineGrow to suit your needs. The project comes with an info panel that explains a bit about the tool and how to use it. It also provides quick tools, like buttons that run AI assistant commands, such as creating a presentation. Let's try that. First, go to the page where you want the presentation. Here we have the index page. Let's delete the slide we have here. Next, select the body element because we want to insert the presentation into it. Then. Click Create a Presentation. You'll see the command was run and the AI Assistant prompts us to provide the content or topic of the presentation. Let's use a voice command and say, Please create a presentation about how to prevent monkeys from eating your bananas. An interesting topic, right? Let's see what our AI Assistant comes up with. This takes a while, so I'll fast forward this part and jump straight to the result. Our presentation is complete. Let's take a look at what our AI assistant, also known as Mr. Pinecone, has created for us. We have a title slide, followed by an introduction, understanding monkeys, storing bananas, and some useful tips. I'm not quite sure about this image, as the AI assistant searches for images on Unsplash using keywords, so the results can sometimes be unpredictable. We also have slides on protecting your garden, using deterrence, and a conclusion. So we've got a nice presentation about preventing monkeys from eating our bananas. Here, we simply provided a topic for the presentation. However, there's another, more practical way to do this. By providing the content for the presentation. Let's undo the previous presentation to start fresh. Now, let's run the create a presentation command again. What's the topic this time? Instead of just providing a topic, I'll paste in the entire content of the presentation. Our example is Pine Adventures, a travel agency specializing in exploring pine trees worldwide. We want a presentation about Pine Adventures, using the content we've provided. It's important to click the chat button, as our input is a follow-up to the ongoing conversation. If I were to say, new task, the AI assistant would lose context and not understand our intentions with the provided content. So, I've pasted the content and clicked chat. The presentation is now being generated. Here's the result. We have slides for join us for a pine adventure. What we do? Upcoming adventures and why travel with us. We could also follow up with a request to add more slides. Let's give it a try and say, Add more slides to the presentation. Remember to click chat to keep the context of the create a presentation task. Now we have new slides. They include why pine tree, journey through pine forest, pine trees in art and culture, the benefits of pine tree therapy, and what is pine tree therapy. Our prompt to add more slides was a bit vague, so the AI generated content based on our previous input. Ideally, we'd also provide content when requesting more slides. Regardless, the AI did a decent job. So that was the process of creating a presentation. Now let's look at some other commands. For example, this slide contains a lot of information. We can ask the AI to split the slide into multiple slides. Let's click and see the result. 
The AI did a good job splitting the content into separate slides for each adventure. However, the title is the same as the presentation title. We want to use the chapter title instead. Let's ask the AI to change the slide layout to slide with chapter title. There we go. You might be wondering where these templates like slide with presentation title and slide with chapter title come from. Well, this tool is built using a templates page where we define different slide layouts. Each template has a name in the info section of the properties panel, such as presentation title, chapter title, slide with text, and so on. When we look at the prompt for creating the presentation, we can see how it all works. We instruct the AI to build an HTML presentation. We tell it that slide templates are defined in the slide templates section. This is a reference to the named element, which we can find here. Selecting the parent container reveals the name slide templates. We can reference named elements in our prompts. So, we mentioned that slide templates are defined in the slide templates section. We also explain that each section element in slide templates represents a slide template. Switching to the tree panel, we see slide templates and individual sections for each slide, each with a name. First, we show these templates to our AI assistant. The entire HTML code of the slide templates container is inserted in place of the reference. Next, we instruct the AI to take the content below and create an engaging, attractive presentation using the templates. Sometimes we need to use all caps to emphasize an instruction for the AI. It's similar to how children might only take you seriously if you raise your voice. So, we use the same approach with our AI assistant. We also tell it not to nest section slides within one another and to output section slide elements for each slide. We instruct it not to explain the code or output the entire page. Finally, we ask the AI to create a presentation based on the provided content or topic. To prompt the AI to ask for content or a topic, we use a colon. The AI then completes the prompt by asking us to provide the content or topic. Based on the provided information and templates, the AI creates a presentation like this one. We have several other commands available as well. Let's select this slide and say, add a suitable image. In the prompt, we ask the AI to make the slide layout compatible with a template that can hold an image and to find an appropriate image reference based on the content. PineGrow then searches for the image on Unsplash. Let's do the same for the second adventure slide. There we have it. Using this process, we can create multiple presentations. If we want to add a new page, we can go to the project and duplicate the new.nl file. We then get a blank page where we can select the body and generate a new presentation. Once we have our presentation, we can use the design panel to modify the overall design. Let's create a new design using the Surprise Me option. This green design looks nice. We can fine-tune various parameters, such as changing the color of headings. It's a great combination. Using AI to generate content and having control over slide layouts and designs. We can also use all the PineGrow tools at our disposal to edit content, change layouts, and have fine-grained control over every aspect of the presentation. We can extend this tool by adding new templates or changing existing ones. If we add a new template, it's important to give it a name so it can be referenced. We can also open the underscore info page, where we can add new commands that will appear in the info panel. In the action panels, we have an AI prompt action 
with a prompt field and an action field. Here we define the action or command. Some commands like change the slide layout to contain a reference to another element. By clicking on the reference, we can choose from the named elements within the project. In this case, we can make the slide use the layout of the selected template. This is a powerful feature. All commands created on the underscore info page also appear when we click the AI Assistant icon. We have easy access to our AI Presentation Maker commands, as they're defined on the underscore info page. The title is used here, and all commands are displayed. If a command uses a reference, we can choose a named element to run as a reference in the command. I hope you found this example useful. You can use it to create simple presentations, extend it for more complex presentations, or learn how to create your own editing tools powered by the AI Assistant. As mentioned earlier, this project is also available on PineGrow Online. If you want to try it without installing PineGrow, simply visit PineGrow.online, find the AI Presentation Maker under Featured Projects, and click Edit. You can start creating presentations right away. You won't be able to preview them without an account, but you can download the presentations. I hope this tutorial was helpful and enjoyable. Have a great day.